Hello everybody, welcome to Facebook Live Day. It's Thursday, one of my favorite days of the week because I get to share a little bit more about essential oils, either some DIY recipes or feature new oils or whatever it is that's on my mind. Today on my mind is DIY hand soap. And um, so we're going, because of course I'm almost out. <laughs> so I need to replace my own and figured you might as well learn how to do it along with me. So uh, my name is Therese and I'm with Real Deal Young Living. And uh, maybe you didn't know, but we have a Facebook group. Maybe you're watching live on the Facebook group, which is Real Deal, no, sorry. Uh, if you search on Facebook for R-D-Y-L Therese, T-E-R-E-S-E, -E, then you will find this group or um, our Facebook page, either one. But our group is where we share all this information and where the Facebook Live is. So search on Facebook Live group, Facebook groups for R-D-Y-L-T-E-R-E-S-E. -E -E. And you will see all of our live uh, Facebooks, which is awesome. Also, I have a YouTube channel, and that's Therese, Real Deal Y-L. So after I do the Facebook Lives, I post them up to YouTube so that you can have a peek there and um, uh, see the DIYs again in case they don't show up on the group. Thank you for all the love, Shiloh, appreciate that. Uh, so if you can't find the Facebook Live on the group, check out my YouTube channel. So those two things you can find me on. Also, Instagram uh, is starting up very soon, and that will also be R-D-Y-L-T-E-R-E-S-E. -E -E. So check that out on Instagram. It's not quite live yet, but you're welcome to start following me there, and I will get live there very, very soon, and I'll be sharing lots of uh, wonderful, all of our recipes that we're doing here, uh, as well as oil information and specials, and uh, just whatever happens to come on my mind. So. Check those out, and today let's get started with making some DIY hand soaps. So these are the containers that I use, and you can buy them. Uh, I get them at the at Life Science Publishing where I get all of my supplies for making DIYs, but often the grocery store will have them. So our grocery store um, has yeah has ones like this, and they're about $2.75, 2 dollars something like that. So they're pretty reasonable seeing as you, how you're going to keep refilling it and um, with with your own um, stuff. So it definitely saves you a bunch of, bunch of money. And then I like this little one because it's great for traveling. So I throw that in my travel bag. And um, whenever I go to an Airbnb or a hotel, I move their hand soap out of the way and I use my own so that I know that there's no chemicals in it and I've made it and it smells good and I love to have that with me. So those are the two sizes that I generally make and um, and use. This top here is really important when you're using and making DIY uh, hand soaps because if you just have a regular pump, I don't have one to show you, but you know, just a regular hand soap pump without the foamy, um, this one has a spring it a spring so that helps it to foam up and gives you a nice soapy um, hand hand experience soapy hand soap experience if you just have a regular pump then it's more just like a liquid hand soap and it's not as thrilling really so it's up to you but that's what i like um i really like that little spring in there to give it a bit of foam so um i've reused old ones that i have um, and that's a great way to, yeah, just so you don't have to rebuy them. This one was a kid's one and it had a kid's label on it. Um, and, uh, I just took the label off so that I could reuse it again. And this goes in the kid's bathroom. So it's still kind of a cool color for them. This one's full, so I don't have to refill that one. And if you don't want to make your own hand soap, you don't even have to. The Thieves, um, hand soap is a really, really nice, silky smooth hand soap from Young Living. Uh, so I have bought that a couple of number of times, as you can see, or I've gotten it for free um, on Essential Rewards. And um, it's lovely, it really is. I haven't been able to duplicate it. It's, it's so smooth and silky. So I just reuse the containers anyway. So sometimes I'll buy the hand soap as a special treat, but otherwise I'll just make my own. Um, it's a bit more affordable, uh, but definitely the luxury of this one is pretty spectacular. 
Um, and then I have just another empty one here. So let's get started with what ingredients that you'll need. These also, you'll probably get, I usually get a good, I don't know, five, six, seven refills before this pump kind of goes, maybe more. Um, it depends on it depends on which bathroom it is. If it's mine or if it's the kids, the kids tend to be a little bit harder because they you know really they really want a lot of foam, so they really go at it. Um, but if you're careful, they can last you a long time. So we need some Castile soap. The uh, is unscented is what you want because you're going to put your own scent in there, and then some vegetable glycerin that will help to foam it up, and then vitamin E because our hands can use a little bit of love when they're getting washed all the time. You can also throw in some coconut oil. Some people do that. I don't tend to like the consistency of it, so I don't put coconut oil in, but you certainly could. It's it's really up to you how you do that. And this, there's no like perfect science to this. It's so easy, really it is. So I fill up the um, container with the Castile soap to about here. So about, mm, an, I don't know, an eighth, maybe a little less than that. Um, so just enough to cover the bottom and I just throw it right in there. Yeah, a, a good squirt will do. And then I put in vegetable glycerin and about a, a teaspoon, one teaspoon, which it kind of looks like that. I really, it, it's really easy. Don't even bother measuring because I'm replacing these all the time. Um, but it, this is a really key ingredient if you can find it and it's just regular vegetable glycerin. Um, I have had a number of people say that it's hard to find, uh, but if any of your supply stores that do DIY things will carry this, some um, grocery, st or grocery stores or um, cosmetic departments might carry it as well. Uh, bulk food stores might carry it. Uh, so you just kind of have to peek around and to try and find it. Vitamin E, of course, will be in your cosmetic se section as well. Try to get one that has nothing else in it, just straight vitamin E, so that, again, you're not adding any other chemicals into it. And again, just a drizzle about that, about a teaspoon, something like that. Now comes the fun part of designing what you want it to smell like. And I've got a number of oils out here because I wasn't sure what kind I would want to do and how what I want it to smell like. So a couple of combinations. Uh, peppermint and rosemary is really lovely. Straight up lime is awesome and also lime with lavender is really lovely. Grapefruit, just straight up grapefruit you can do as well. If you've got some uh, germs going around your house you'll want to do thieves. Uh, that will definitely boost up the, um, the healing healthy healing uh, in your hand soap um, with the bacteria and stuff on your hands. So thieves, definitely, if you're going through that, you can also add some lemon to the thieves and just add a nice little fragrant extra bit of zing to it. Um, I brought out bergamot too because bergamot kind of smells like Earl Grey and um, there was a shower gel that I smelled uh, that had that was called kind of like an Earl Grey and it was so lovely, just very... Um, very rich and luxurious so that one is a nice option too. Um, geranium, if you really like geranium it's a very nice pick-me-up uh, so it can be great in in just your a bathroom that you would use every day um, throughout the day and you just need a little bit of nice something nice so that one's great um, and orange too is another great one so any combination really is it, the sky's the limit. Whatever you can design is um, is perfect. So in this one, I think I'm going to do lime, and I'm going to throw in ten drops. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and kind of swirl that around. Sometimes the the Castile soap, depending on the brand that you get, might have a bit of a soapy smell to it. So just add more, if it's not quite strong enough, add a couple more oils, drop, a couple more drops of oils. That one's pretty good. And then I'm going to fill the rest up with some water. And not all the way to the top so that I make sure there's still room for the pump to go in. If I fill it too tall, the pump doesn't fit and then I have a big mess on my hands. So there it is. There's your hand soap, ready to go. Let's do one more. 
and the combination. You're welcome to post if you have a favorite combination that you like to do. If you've already used some hand soaps or you imagine uh, one that would be lovely, then please post it and share. A little bit of glycerin. A little bit of vitamin E. And I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do the rosemary and peppermint in this one. So I'm going to do five drops of each. So peppermint, one, two, three, four, five. This one I think will be my garden when I come in from the garden to wash up. Uh, because that minty peppermint I think will feel really, really nice on my hands. Two, three, four, five. Mix that in a little bit. Mmm. Really nice. And then top it up with water. Throw on your lid, and I've got one more to go here. We have quite a few bathrooms in our house. <laughs> Makes cleaning lots of fun. So this one is already um, about a quarter full, so I don't need to put quite as much in. But while I'm at it, I might as well top up everything. That's part of uh, time. good time management when you're doing DIYs is to do it all at once. And Thursday mornings now, because I have the Facebook Live, is my DIY day. So it's what when... I spend the 15 minutes usually with you and do that DIY for the week and I'm done. Um, so it's a really great way of getting things done. It's not hugely labor intensive. Uh, I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do the bergamot. That's really, and I, that one's going to go in my own personal bathroom. Whoa, we're slipping. Oh dear. There we go. So 10 of the bergamot, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I also try to keep the soaps away from direct sunlight. This one is better because it's covered. It, it's it's covered, but this one's not. So I just make sure it's not right in the direct sun. And there we go. All right, so I got three hand soaps all ready to go. And um, I will restock up my bathroom and uh, it will be lovely. <laughs> I also wanted to share that I have room for three online classes this month. I had room for four and one has been booked already. So an online class uh, this month gives you the opportunity to get up to, I think it's six free oils plus a face, the art uh, mask, face mask, which is um, really lovely. So I will be sending out a newsletter with information on that and um, also we'll probably be posting it on the Facebook group. Please message me if you would like to know more about that and uh, I would love to share how you can get some oils for free. And I wanted to remind you, I'm going to try and remind you all of my, my videos from now on is don't forget to clean your diffuser. All right, have a wonderful Thursday and we'll be in touch. Feel free to ask any questions, post, uh, post your success stories as well, and we will chat again soon. Bye-bye.